Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group, One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. And we are at the Reno Air Races where we are cleared for takeoff. Hundreds of military and civil aircraft descended on the Reno State Airport for this five day event. Visitors with standard tickets had front row access to the race courses with planes zooming right in front of the grandstands. Pit passes granted visitors access to the on-site hangars where aviation lovers can get up close and personal with these amazing planes and their crews. This is an A-10 from the Idaho Air National Guard and this is equipped with laser guided missile systems and the cannon down here in front fires 30 millimeter rounds as many as 65 per second and these shells can pierce through tank armor. This is the largest aircraft on display here at the Reno Air Races. It's the C-17 Globemaster from the U.S. Air Force. And here's a few statistics about this incredible aircraft. The C-17 measures 174 feet long with a wingspan of 169 feet and 10 inches. It stands at its peak 55 feet and 1 inches tall. To operate this bird, it really only needs three crew members, two pilots and one loadmaster. It can hold up to 102 troops or 36 litters. Well, I had a wonderful conversation with Major Nicholas, one of the pilots of this aircraft, who unfortunately couldn't come on camera to discuss it. And he was telling me that this aircraft can be used for a variety of applications, humanitarian efforts, supply drops, as well as medical supplies. They can also outfit the interior as a complete mobile command unit. Major Spencer Treehall from the Nevada Air Guard explained to us the challenges that come with the nature of flying these larger than life aircrafts. We train five days a week in addition to one weekend a month and as air crew we have more requirements than other assets on the base just to keep current and proficient at what we do. I fly one to two times a week, usually take uh, one trip a month or every other month now that I'm getting a little long in the tooth I don't do as many trips as I used to and flying I think any person on this airplane will tell you is the most perishable skill they own. And the longer you stay out of it, the harder it is to get back into it and knock off the rust. There's a certain complexity about flying that makes it harder to step in and out of over long periods of time. And rust accumulates quickly. So you said that the, the training happens five days a week, so Reno residents look up, look up in the skies and they see a pair of C-130s circling around. That's you. It is the Reno Guard and it's normally local training where we depart Reno, we normally fly up north towards Herlong. We train on low level missions and airdrop. In fact, we used to run a mountain flying training school out of the Nevada Air National Guard and units from all over the country would come to fly and train with us in our local flying terrain oftentimes prior to deploying to Afghanistan. I love the air races. A lot of it is we're all plane enthusiasts. And if you look over here to the right, this is a, the stall area, short takeoff landing. I got to see for the first time last year just over the hill here to the north where they actually do a stall drag race, which I think you're going to see a demo of here today. And that's pretty neat to see. But I here I like seeing the old World War II aircraft, the, the larger aircraft, the bombers, like crawling around on those. Major Treehall, we can't thank you enough for your service and keeping us safe here in Nevada. The Stoll Drag Demonstrations is the first new class of races added to the Reno Air Races in 20 years. Here's the list of all of the winners from each of the classes. The air races return to Reno Stead Airport September 16th through 20th of 2020. Please make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons below so you'll see more event reviews like this, as well as our monthly series, Things to Do in Reno. For the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group, Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. I'll see you around town.